What's up, collective? Welcome. <coughs> if you smoke, I smoke. <coughs> but anyway, collective. <coughs> I had to hit, hit my little booty to relax my mind. <coughs> Welcome to the karmic circus where we expose these karmic ass clowns. I'm not gonna burn this because if I set this on fire, it ain't it ain't gonna wanna go out and I end up burning a whole thing of sage. So I cut some and I put it in my little ashtray and before each reading I um I burn a little just to, to clear the negative energy out of here and I got my candles burning and everything to invite positive energy. Okay. But collective, um, you know you have a karmic clown out there. If you don't know what the karmic clown is, a karmic clown is a clown. This this is an energy. The clowns are energies. Okay, your person, your ex, your teacher, your boss can be claim can could be. Um, keeping the energy of a karmic. Okay? Your neighbor could be a karmic. Your baby mama, your baby daddy can be a karmic. And everybody don't only have one karmic. Okay? We have many. And these karmics are the unseen forces that comes into your life to fuck you over to hurt your feelings, to break your heart, to cheat on you, to lie to you, um, to pick on you, to do you dirty, to keep you from going down the spiritual path that you're supposed to be going. They come in your life to distract you, okay? They're distractions. They do some everything. So I've created a, 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 a karmic, I call it a, a circus in the spiritual realm where we throw all of these clowns. Now your clown may be your ex-baby daddy. Your clown may be your ex-baby mama. Your clown may be your mama or your daddy. Your clown may be your parent. Your children. Okay? Whoever the karmic is that's in your life, they going through karma right now. They catching hell. Yeah. They catching hell. Yeah, you're karmic. You know that the person who every time you try to go up that ladder, they down at the bottom of that motherfucker trying to pull it and trying to make you fall. Yeah, them. Mm -hmm. That karmic. So what I need you to do, I'm going to tell you what's going under, what's going on under the big top with these clowns. You see, see, this is Oscar right here. Oscar is the ringleader. He he's he's helping me, telling me what's going on with these clowns. Okay. Oscar is long time. He probably older than some of y'all. Okay, he's an antique. But anyway, um, your karmic is someone. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Put that out. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay. If you smoke, I'm cool with it. And if you have a problem with me smoking while I'm doing the reading, turn your fan on, motherfucker. If my smoke is, if my smoke is bothering you. Turn your fan on and listen to the message. Okay? Now, first thing I want to pull is the energy <coughs> of the divine masculine and divine feminine. Because I know you up in here. I know you know that you're divine. Okay? I want to see the path that you're on. What's going on with my divine energies that's up in this 
crown tent. Now see, I forgot before I tell you what's going on with the show. Now we we're, we're I'm just telling you right now what's what's the energy surrounding you divine energies. Not the karmics. The karmics will get to them. But before you go inside, I need you to purchase a ticket. Okay, to find out what's going on in the circus. And I also need you to um, go on over to my concession stand and purchase you a subscribe ticket. Ticking. Time is ticking. Because the tickets run out fast. Okay, the, the clowns, the, the seats for the clowns, this tent fills up fast, so I need you to hurry up and hit that thumbs button up. Purchase that ticket. That's how you purchase the ticket to get inside the show. Did you know that? You don't have to pay no money or no nothing, 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 nothing like that. All I need you to do is just hit that thumbs up button. Now to keep the doors open to this fucking circus tent. Okay. Some of you is going on a, on a, uh, you're going towards your higher power. I'm just pulling one card from my quantum oracle deck. To find out what is the energy surrounding my collective. Back and forth. So this karma, this is your energy, but it's this karmic's intention to have you to keep going back and forth with them. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay. But karma is on their ass, so that's their intention to keep going back and forth with you. Yeah, you gotta go. Oscar, we need you to be just to be seen. I'm sorry, Oscar. Oscar's like, you just let me fall, and I'm telling you what the fuck is going on with all these clowns and shit. Can you sit right there, Oscar? Okay. Oscar's like, fuck you. How you gonna put me in the back and you got this clown right here? The clown that that the collective keep going back and forth with. Why you gonna put them right in the front? Because I want the collective to see this clown right here. This is the clown that you're going back and forth with. Okay? That's the clown. He may have uh, a lot of hair. He may have nice, pretty hair, long hair. This person comes, he, he slides in your life. See, so look like he on a giant ass skateboard. Coming back and forth. That's your clown. That's your karmic. So, this person kept coming back and forth in your life. Let me see what they're coming for. See, I like to, I like my haunted deck, my haunted house deck. Yeah, that's what it's called, haunted house. Okay. And since these karmics are dark clowns, this deck is perfect for them because it shows me what they do in the spiritual realm when they're trying to fuck with your character, when they're trying to fuck with your essence. It shows me how they try to murder you in the spiritual realm. This fucking tent is, is the spiritual realm, okay? So you can, you can uh, drop your clown off in this motherfucking tent anytime you want. Put it in the comments and say, I just dropped his ass off. And you can give him a fucking chariot of being in a, uh, uh, you can put their ass in a helicopter. 
drop their ass right on over and then see look at oscar see oscar is a is he's a he's a, a clown that has had some misfortune okay see this is this is what happened to these clowns you see see oscar got his leg broke you see his foot broke off this is saying that these karmic these clowns is getting all fucked up we're coming after you collective okay look at him everything else is 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 all right his hands all right his feet all right but there's one leg spirit is stopping these clowns from coming towards you i'm sorry oscar that i had to use you as a example but that's why you're here to help me get my point across okay so you just sit right there he like well i ain't gonna sit there then man okay i just sit here okay so, what is the energy surrounding this back and forth with this clown? Now, don't forget to purchase your tickets, collective. Hit that thumbs up button. That's purchasing your tickets, so you need to know what the hell these clowns is doing. What they got planned for you. Some of them is, is planning to make you feel some type of way about spending your own money. They got some of y'all being afraid to go shopping, to go buy, you scared to go buy yourself something. They come telling you all of this bullshit about the government and the economy and all of that, not wanting you to spend or share nothing, you know, spend nothing or love yourself. Fuck them, stop going back and forth with them, okay? Some of them is, 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 uh, Some of them wanted you to keep going back and forth, so they're doing spell, was using spell books. Spell books. And I don't want my, my little baby cat, he pleased and got in his face again, and I'm gonna have to put some more flea powder on him and I've been doing everything but he just keep running in there. So yeah, you you're you're not going back and forth with this person, this clown no more. Hold on, let me get my cats out of here. They doing too much. Sorry about that. I have, I have cats, and they, uh, Mama brought some fleas up in here, and then she was attacking the fleas, are attacking her baby cat. Okay, so back to this back and forth clown. This person, they're they're uh, they're they're playing with spell books. They're chanting shit out of spell books to like make you come back to them. If, if not the spell books, they are actually just speaking some manifestation words to try to have you still be going back and forth with it. This is why it is um, important <clears throat> for you to protect your energy with evil eye, C healing crystals and stones and all of those. Okay. Those are the things that God the Most High gave us to be able to protect ourselves, okay, from the enemy, from the unseen forces that we, you, you know, you encounter every day and you don't know. You don't understand. Okay, those are demon, demonic attacks. Your family and friends are the karmics that have demonic attachments to them, toxic shit. They like to party, or they overindulge in things. Um, drugs, sex, porn, um, drinking, alcohol, drugs, starting fights, like chaos and conflict. Um, and and these the same karmics that 
your family that's all up in the church, church members, cults and shit in the church. It's all bullshit. Okay? You got to learn more about these karmics. It's karmics all sitting up in the churches in the places you think that's good. It's not the, the, the building. It's the people that's in the buildings. You understand? It's the energies that they're carrying up in them churches. So, okay, so Holy Spirit, show me the energy. Ooh, they hot now. Of the karmics that my collective been going back and forth with. They having tower moments. They wanted you to have a tower moment. They wanted you to be falling out the window, falling out behind them, but you're not. Now, because you're not going back and forth with, forth with them, they're having a tower moment because they, they got to come back to you. They got to try to. This person is mentally unstable, and that's what they wanted for you. They wanted people to think you was crazy for going back and forth with them. Or they was crazy for going back and forth with you, but it's really you as the one mentally is making, they're making you mentally unstable by going back and forth with you. Okay. And some of you, this person is a witch for you divine masculines. It's a witch that you're dealing with that's your karmic. Okay. And she's doing magic to make you continue to go back and forth with her. And somebody is an alcoholic, drinking. You know the relationship ain't going away. This person is stealing your energy. They steal from you. They probably steal and leave. They go. And uh, this could be the type of person who could be your, your uh, a family member. Or it could be someone who's who's close to be able to get in get in contact with a lot of your close personal things. Sometimes I tie this thing a little bit too tight and it give me a headache. So let's pull it back. Yeah. Uh, These karmic clowns are having a tower moment because you're not going back and forth with them. You're not going to allow these people to, to, to make you look like you got some sort of mental damage. That you was going back and forth with them. And the reason you're going back and forth with them is because you love them. You're in love with this person. Some of you, this person then drove you to drink it. And you carried a lot of emotions. And I'm sorry, you guys, they are planning a new telephone poles right um, next door in front of my house. So excuse the noise. I'm sorry. And I have to have my window open. I don't have no air conditioning in this room. I got my fan in the window. So I'm sorry for all the noise you hear. I may have to close it, huh? Yeah. Hold on. It's a little better, but it's still noisy. Okay, so... Some of you um, ladies was going back and forth. This could be a warlock man. Okay. I know people laugh at stuff when I say things about witches and warlocks. But you know that shit is real. They just make it look different on TV like it really doesn't exist. But it really does. People casting spells on you. Like in the movie Beetlejuice where... Where the where uh, Beetlejuice sprinkled the stuff on the man, the little thing hid and his head shrink. 
That shit is real. But it's metaphysically. Somebody can sprinkle something on you to make your brain shrink, to make you become dumb, to make you lose your memory, to make you forget shit. Okay? Start looking at all the movies you're watching from a metaphysical world. Especially the enemies. Look at the Predator. You see how the Predator, how he looks at the people he preying on in that, that rainbow color thing? That's you and your chakras. See that? See that? That's your that's your aura. And that's what the predator in in the spiritual realm, that predator wants to kill your aura. Duh. Start looking at these movies from a metaphysical way. Especially the action movies. And you look at yourself as the the save as the hero in the and look at the enemies on there as the enemy see what you come up with and this is a they're they're showing you in the movies it's not what's going on it's going on in real life but it's going on in the spiritual metaphysical world so you have to know how to protect yourself be guarded put on your suit of armor and all of that good shit yes and the star and the clowns. And right here, this is where they're, they're, this person, this is again, the reason why you're going back and forth with somebody. They're calling you back. Spiritually. They're doing magic, or they didn't got some of your hair. You could have, ladies, you could have left some of your hair in a brush. You could have combed your hair or brushed your hair at this person's house. Or they could have been at your house and got a lock of your hair. Or if you have dreads or something, they could have got, you know, got some of your hair um, by snipping a little piece, keeping it in their pocket. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. People do stuff like this for magic. See that braid? And see how he, he got the handle on the end of that braid? They took your hair to fucking control you. And you're not protected. You see that sage? This sage, it ain't, it ain't got no, it's, it's not burnt at the top. So this means, this is how this person is controlling you. Spiritually, they're controlling you, or, or physically, they could be controlling you. But this is the energy of somebody controlling you. And this is why you keep going back and forth with them. And this is going on right now. This is not in the future. You ain't seeing this shit in no distant horizon. No, this shit is going on right fucking now. That's why you in love with this person. If you break that curse, or however they then then um, magically made you fall in love with them to where you just gotta keep going back and forth with them, that's a karmic. You need to get you a uh, amethyst to break that curse and get you a uh, a black obsidian. I just took my, my my big one. It's in my car. But uh, a black obsidian, black tourmaline, black onyx. Because this person is throwing magic to make you keep going back and forth with them. You know the shit they doing. Wait a minute. Let me get my other cards. Oh, well. Let me get my other card. I got my basket and I have my other car sitting in it because my little baby cat was, I didn't want him to be thinking it's no little box and get in my cars and piss on them. So, okay, so, yeah, so, uh, what else, spirit? 
enlightenment. This person, uh, you was in love with this person, and you saw them as an enlightenment. Okay, but the reason you saw them as an enlightenment and you was just so flabbergasted by everything they did is because they was doing manipulation, spell work. It don't mean that they was throwing no candles, but they this person got some of your hair. And if they done spent the night at your house, they could have been, you know, nosy motherfuckers be all up in your cabinets and shit when they ask to use the bathroom. You know they nosy. You know they looking to see what, what you, if, if people still keep, I don't really think a lot of people keep medicine in the medicine cabinets now because they know nosy motherfuckers come in there and, you know, look in your cabinets. Somebody's name is Jennifer. So, there could be somebody named Jennifer who's in love. If your name is Jennifer, put it in the comments. Jen, Jenny, Jennifer, you've been enlightened at the fact that somebody is doing some sort of spell work on you that this clown is. This clown could be a Libra. Okay. For some of you, this clown uh, wanted you to be in unbalanced, or they could be a a uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, who you're going back and forth with. See, and they and they're saying you're going back and forth with them, and they're back trying to doing the spell work. Okay, yeah, this is why you're going back and forth, Jennifer. Jen, Jenny, your name may start with a J. I see the, 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 uh, the, the, the end, like somebody could be going to different hotels, back going to hotels. That's why you're going back and forth. You're sneaking, you're sneaking into hotels, inns. Uh-huh. And don't you know, you, you may not realize it. Each time you lay down with this person and you have sex with them, you're allowing them to, to uh, you're giving them a piece of your essence. Did you know that? And they take your essence and they go to other people and they do it on other people. They're, they're witches in the spiritual realm. Then some of you don't, have you ever, I mean, a lot of people, we grew up saying, ooh, they did it to me. They, they fucked me so good to, he put me to sleep. I slept all day. Man, she, she fucked me so good, man. All I could do is just wake up, smoke a cigarette and go back to sleep. Wake up, hit the blunt, and go back to sleep. That's because they stole your energy. <laughs> the clown stole your energy. You are sleepy and tired. And they up, hopping around like a fucking bunny. Now, those of you, when you, when if both of y'all lazy, you both lay there and sleep after you done had some good sex, they didn't steal your energy. They're sharing their energy with you. If this person lays there and cuddles with you and all that, they're sharing their energy. But some of you is going back and forth with this person. And they they were trying to, the energy in them, the energy that they're carrying. Some of you need to watch that, watch the, the movie Shocker. I think it came out like in the 80s. Watch that movie. It's a perfect example of what I'm trying to say, how these clowns' energies are. This could be a sibling. This could be your mother or father carrying this energy. Somebody you going back and forth with. It could be your children. Okay. But this person, they don't they don't know that they're doing the spell work. Some of them do, but some of them don't. Put cheese out for the mice. So what that's telling me is if this person is doing spell work and if you if you know if they're doing some sort of manipulation put cheese out for the mice bait they ass okay let them know 
that you know what they doing. But don't go back, don't keep going back and forth with them. You're gonna have to stop at some point. I don't know why my nose is. This person has been going to see a practitioner. That's why you keep going back and forth. That's what this is. This is spell work. This is practitioner. Back trying spell work. Here's the witch energy. Wanting you to be unstable without them. That's what they wanted. They 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 doing the spell work to make you keep coming back like you can't live without them or you try to go and, and you try to make it on your own but you can't make it on your own you need them that's the spell work that they're doing they want you to need them so what you're gonna have to do baby i don't know why my nose keep itching you're gonna have to protect your energy get you an amethyst sleep with that amethyst under your pillow because some of them motherfuckers will fuck you in your sleep in your dreams you wondering why you wake up and you having a wet dream. Why you you done did some shit all in your sleep about somebody having sex with you. They giving it to you so good you done came, came in your panties. You done came all up in your underwear. And you don't know why. Because they, they sent the incubus or a succubus spirit to you. To think about them. And then have you ever had a sexual dream and, and, it's, and it feels so good, but you don't remember who it is. You don't know who it is. Those are demons. Okay? And this person is, is sending those type of demons to you. To make you think of them. To make you come back and forth to them. Come to me spells and all of that type of shit. Okay? These clowns. So if you're going back and forth with the clown... I suggest, for one, stop drinking. If you're drinking, because the 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 the, the alcohol is giving giving you spirits too, making you want to be horny and all of that stuff. Stop it. Get your amethyst. The amethyst has many properties, many many properties for healing. It helps with alcoholism. It helps with nightmares. And if this person is trying, this is why you cover your head at night. You cover your head. Because if, if they're trying to send energy to you while you sleep, that's how they that's what they'll do. They'll come to you while they while you're sleeping in your dreams and have sex with you. Okay? If you're covering your head, that's covering your crown. Okay? Learn about healing your chakras and protecting your energy. Look it up. Google it. Okay? You subscribe to my channel. I'll teach you a little bit about, about what I know in each of my readings. I'll bring it in whenever it's needed. Okay? So I hope, hope that you purchased your ticket by hitting that thumbs up button. And I hope you went over to my concession stand and uh, hit that, that notification bell. So you'll be notified every time the circus is in your town. Every time these clowns is close to your house, you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, I will tell you what's going on. All right. I'm having a hot flash, so I got my fan right here. I had to hold it because this one of them little baby fans, but this mug, it blows. You see it got a fan and all of that stuff blowing. It's a good little, cute little fan. My, my lady in my store got me. She know I love pink, and she she got this pink fan just for me. I know I'm special. Her and her little husband be like, we know you like pink, so we got for you. My Asian. Okay, so, yeah, um, yeah, no more going back and forth with this person. No, lo no more accepting the fact that they're doing magic to keep you coming back and forth to them. No. No. Stop that. You got to block that shit. This person is, is blocking you from being with somebody who's really going to truly love you. 
Now they may be they it may be true love that's got them you going back and forth. But you need to either shit or get off the pot. Don't keep going back and forth. Make the choice if you're gonna be together or if you're not. Alright? Peace.